Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for you for the week of July 22nd to the 28th. This is a reading from my guides for you. It's not going to be like anybody else's reading. It is, it's a message for you from my guides. Okay, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not every reading is going to be for you. Um, just keep that in mind. It just started raining for your video, and that's why I have the coat on, because it got cold. Um, and and rain, you know, as I was sitting here getting ready to do your reading, that rain was very symbolic. It's raining lightly, you know, very lightly. You might be able to hear it. Um, rain, to me, can symbolize tears, okay? So you, you may be experiencing some tears this week. This is for the week of July 22nd to the, through the 28th, okay? So this, this probably hasn't happened yet, so keep that in mind. If you're watching this beforehand, you could be experiencing some tears. Um, things just got cold, okay? All of a sudden. So things may suddenly get cold, okay? You gotta, there's no such thing as coincidence, okay? There really isn't. So keep that in mind this week. Everything happens. If you look beyond the surface, you will see the meaning. Okay? There's a reason. If you look beyond what you think you see, there's more to it. Okay? So keep that in mind. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. And then we're going to use this deck over here. What do we have for Gemini? Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, for the week of July 22nd through the 28th, you should be watching this on the YouTube channel, Soul Source Tarot. Okay. What do we have for Gemini? Hostilities. You could be in that. Yeah, it's funny that I, I mean, it's not funny. I mentioned tears. There could be some hostilities. You could be dealing with somebody who is hostile towards you, or you may have some hostilities towards another person, but there is some hostilities that may come to the surface. This person looks like they are ready to fight. Okay. They're angry. That is the sword of truth in their hand. It's the sword of power. Somebody may want to assert their power over you, or they want to. They may want to take your power away. They may want to bring you down. You know, this could go vice versa. This could be you that is hostile. But this person is. I mean, this person has a weapon in their hand, and sometimes a weapon is words. Okay. So they may be using their words as a weapon. So keep that in mind. Or it could be an actual weapon. I mean, you've got to be careful. You do got to be careful. So be careful. There is some hostilities that are going to be um, dealt with this week. Okay. We're going to get one of these. What do we have for Gemini? Oh, there it is. Ooh, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, you know, you, you may be going, maybe this is a family issue. You could be, have some hostile siblings or some hostile parents or whatever. Maybe, maybe there's, there's hostilities that you are harboring or you are holding on to because of something your parents did to you. This could be a child, okay, who is hostile towards you. I don't know. Maybe they need to forgive you. It could go so many ways, but healing family issues. And to heal, you have to deal. Okay? You can't just block them. You can't just push them down. You got to deal with them. So, there's some healing going on, and it probably isn't going to feel good. All right? So, what do we have for Gemini? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. This may have something to do with children. It definitely has something to do with parents. Parents and children. Okay? Solitude and silence. Peace prevails. And you need peace, right? And to find peace, 
again, you have to deal. You have to deal. You have to. So we're just going to go ahead and read that card. anyway whatever solitude in silence peace prevails prevails in silence you'll find a depth of self-awareness as well as inner peace this is not a time to venture forth with a new project or a new cycle this is time to step back and be still in quietude you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth seek solitude and all will be revealed no matter what is happening around you find serenity maybe you need to heal your hostilities with your family through solitude. I mean, that's what this is, right? Your power is born in stillness. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. It's funny. I said it's going to fall anyway. That's funny. I said it's going to fall the camera. It is. So remember <laughs> whatever however when the traveler takes time alone everything falls into perspective take time out of your day to be completely quiet take deep slow breaths imagine inhaling vitality and exhaling all that is not needed affirm that all is well move past the chatter and chaos on the road of life be still and hear the voices of your higher self and your spirit guide so you guys will be needing some silence you will be needing some solitude and i think it's to heal over heal some hostilities with I, you know i really feel it has to do with parents family members children or it could be a lover it could be you know whatever it is five of cups this is grieving this is sadness okay it is it is so we, this is grieving so we got some sadness here. There could be some regrets that, you know, you have to let something go. There's no more love here. There's no more emotional fulfillment here. You know, there's another opportunity waiting for you. So this is grieving. You know, there's tears. There is tears. So you may be experiencing some tears this week. Okay. Um, there's sadness. There's grieving. This is a dead end. Page of coins reverse is a dead end. Loss of focus, loss of concentration, no desire to do anything. You may have no energy this week or you may have received some bad news or something like that. This is feeling trapped, mentally trapped, trapped in your own prison, stuck, um, letting your thoughts get the best of you, um, not wanting to believe, not wanting to deal. Not wanting to deal, wanting to stay, keep it safe, wanting to stay in the safe zone, wanting to block out, you know, wanting to block out the truth, wanting to block out the pain. Um, but you have a bigger, better opportunity waiting for you. So this is a golden opportunity to release these hostilities. So you are going to be presented with an opportunity, a big opportunity. Now, this is receiving something, receiving a big, huge opportunity, receiving something that you can actually touch, something big. This is a blessing. This is a gift. Consider it a gift. This, this is a loss. This five of cups is a loss. Consider this loss, whatever this loss is, a gift because there's a gift arriving. Okay. That is something, the ace of pentacles. I mean, that's a card of manifestation. It's a new beginning of something abundant, something big, something solid, something stable. This could even be a gift of money coming in. Whatever this is, this is something that you can take to the bank, something that you can keep. Okay, you're going to get something from this pain, from this suffering, from dealing with whatever it is that you're dealing with. Ooh, lack of faith. So there's lack of faith here. There's lack of trust. There's lack of believing. There's disbelief. You may be in a state of disbelief. You may be. You may be in a state of disbelief over a loss. You know, could happen suddenly cold. Like I said, it suddenly turned cold. Something suddenly goes cold. So you could be in a state of disbelief. You, there could be a commitment. This is a commitment that, you know, somebody could be getting out of a commitment. This is a breakup and this... I mean, you, somebody could be 
experiencing a breakup. It could be a loss. It could be a loss of a family member. I don't know. It, it, you know, I don't know. It could be loss of a partner, a marriage partner, or a commitment, or something like that. You know, there's just no going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's a dead end. Somebody's been blocking the truth, and they have a bigger, better opportunity waiting for them. This is a big, big, big opportunity. So, lovers reverse false contract. Somebody is breaking up, and I'm not going to lie about it. And that's the way it goes. Or they're leaving. This a contract is coming to an end, and this doesn't have to be a lover. This this could be this could be a split of a partnership. Okay, it's at the end of a contract, this could be who knows who it's with, but this is the end of a contract. There's not there's no compatibility. There's no uh, you can't heal it anymore. It's some sort of split here. There's a loss. A loss of a partner or a loss of somebody, okay? And that is the truth. And I know a lot of people only want to hear the pretty shit, but you're on the wrong channel if that's what you're looking for. Um, Knight of Cups. Let's get the rest of the Page of Cups reversed. I need to get the rest of the cards. Hierophant. So we got, this is the Hierophant twice. This deck happens to have the Hierophant twice, okay? So this is both. These are both the Hierophant. It says faith, but it's the Hierophant. And then we have the Five of Wands reversed. This is... It's funny that they're all right here. Five, five, five. five. Expect the unexpected. Five, five, five. You're about to experience a major life change. And you're going to feel conflicted about it. And that's why there's hostilities. You may be angry. You may be angry because it's, it's like there's a sudden loss and I don't know who this loss is and I'm not saying that it's a death but it's the end of a contract could be a job contract could be you know a family member leaving home it could be a partner walking away you know whatever it is there's there's this um, there's no more love here okay there's no more love there's no more emotional contentment and somebody has been you know, wanting a relationship, wanting a romance, and that's why they've been holding on to the dead end. That's why they've they've been wanting the love, right? They've been wanting the love. They've been hoping it would grow, but it's not going anywhere. So the reason this is all happening is, is because there's another opportunity here. There is another opportunity, but you, remember I said there's no such thing as coincidence. It's like, this is divine guidance. This is a guidance counselor. This is you are there. Somebody is being divinely guided towards something bigger, something better. But in order to get there, they're going to have to deal with tension. They're going to have to deal with conflict. They're going to have to deal with this major life change with these five, five, five. This is a major life change. And I feel like there's a lot of instability over facing this change, believing that it's happening for a reason. You know, so that's why there's tears and that's why there's a need to be in solitude to accept that this has all happened for a reason. So we actually have four fives, five, 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 five. Five, 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 five. Let go of the old and bring in the new. It's time of personal freedom. You guys are about to be broken free from something that has brought about hostilities within you or another person or both. Both, perhaps. There's a contract that is coming to, end, coming to an end that has kept you stuck. It has kept you trapped in a situation that was not really love but it may have felt like love or it made it you know you wanted to have it you wanted that relationship but it wasn't there was no follow through there wasn't there wasn't no nothing solid about it there wasn't nothing stable whoever you were dealing with you know didn't have any ability to stay focused this person was childish this person person was immature um whoever this person was this person was more focused on their money they weren't focused on the relationship, even though, you know, you wanted it, right? You wanted it. So I feel as though somebody is being called to have faith and to believe that facing this struggle, because fives are power struggles, is going to bring them a bigger, better opportunity. So, but there's a lack of faith and there's disbelief over this loss. So you guys are going to experience some sort of loss that probably makes you feel hostile and I don't know what this loss is it could have to do with anybody that is in your circle 
anybody. Um, and you are going to need to forgive. You're going to need to forgive. You're going to need to accept. And you're going to need to, you know, be go be alone. Because otherwise you may be angry. You may treat people poorly because you're suffering. Okay? So, you know, I just, I really feel as though... You probably are going to receive emotional support from somebody new. You won't even see it coming. I feel as though you're going to, there's definitely going to be tears. There's going to be some sort of sadness here over something that is um, no longer moving forward. Knight of Wands reverse. It's like there's no passion. There's no drive. There's no desire. Somebody's putting the brakes on. They're, they're you know. The world, there's the world reversed. There's a feeling of emptiness. This, there's a feeling of uh, no closure. Some, and there's no closure. It's like it's like somebody leaves without saying goodbye. I can't make it up. I'd like to. I am Gemini cusp and Gemini Venus. I would love to make this up. I don't know who this is, but there is a partnership. That is coming to an end. And this is all happening because there's a reason there's a reason for it because you have something bigger, better, more abundant. that will come to you when you complete this cycle, when you complete this chapter, when you learn this lesson. This is a lesson that hasn't been learned yet. The world card reverse. You have a lesson to learn here. And this lesson has to do with acting impulsively. It has to do with having faith. It has to do with you listening to your inner guide, listening to your gut. It has to do with your self-value. It has to do with your self-worth. I can see that somebody is reluctant. But you need some time. You're going to need time. You will feel relief. You will feel relief in time. And that is what I have, Gemini. So I don't know who this is for. Good luck. <laughs>